Hi everybody, it's Peter and today we're going to read a fantastic story about Noah and the ark. It's all about putting trust in God and knowing that he will protect us. So in a time when we're all a bit scared, this is a fantastic story to listen to. So join with me and let's read this story. Come on then children, follow me. Noah was a man who worshipped God. Everyone else hated and disobeyed God. One day God said something shocking. I will destroy this wicked world, God told Noah. Only your family will be saved. God warned Noah that a great flood would come and cover the earth. Build a wooden ark and a boat big enough for your family and many animals, Noah was ordered. God gave Noah exact instructions. Noah got busy. Probably people mocked as Noah explained why he was making an ark. Noah kept building. He also kept telling people about God. Nobody listened. Noah had great faith. He believed God even though rain had never fallen before. Soon the ark was ready to be loaded with supplies. Now came the animals. God brought seven of some species, two of others, birds great and small, beasts tiny and tall made their way to the ark. Perhaps the people shouted insults at Noah as he loaded the animals. They did not stop sinning against God. They did not ask to enter the ark. Finally, all the animals and birds were aboard. Come into the ark, God invited Noah. You and your family, Noah, his wife, his three sons and their wives entered the ark. Then God shut the door. Then the rain came, a great downpour soaked the earth for 40 days and nights. Flood waters poured over towns and villages. When the rain stopped, even the mountains were under water. Everything that breathed air died. As the waters rose, the ark floated on top. It may have been dark inside, maybe bumpy, maybe even scary, but the ark sheltered Noah from the flood. After five months of flooding, God sent a drying wind. Slowly the ark came to rest high in the mountains of Ararat. Noah stayed inside another 40 days as the water lowered. Noah sent a raven and a dove out of the ark's open window. Not finding a dry, clean place to rest, the dove returned to Noah. A week later, Noah tried again. The dove came back with a new olive leaf in its beak. The next week Noah knew the earth was dry because the dove did not return. God told Noah it was time to leave the ark. Together Noah and his family unloaded the animals. How grateful Noah must have felt. He built an altar and worshipped God who had saved him and his family from the awful flood. God gave Noah a wonderful promise. Never again would he send a flood to judge human sin. God gave a great reminder of his promise. The rainbow was the sign of God's promise. Noah and his family found new beginnings after the flood. In time, his descendants repeopled the whole of the earth. All the nations of the world came from Noah and his children. What a fantastic story that was. I was riveted. I was on the edge of my seat all the time. Well, I think we should pray. What do you think, children? Yeah, I think we should pray about this. So, that's it. Ready? Dear Lord, thank you for being with us. Thank you for bringing peace to our world. Protect our mums, our dads, our families, our grandparents, just be with us all. Help us to understand where we fit in in your world and help us to be good to our friends and to everybody around us. Dear Lord, protect us and keep us safe in your love. Amen. Bye everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Watch out next week for the next story. Bye everybody. Bye.